Welcome to the world famous Guarantee RV Super Centers here in Junction City, Oregon. I'm Gary Christians, but of course you know me as the van guy. And I've got a van for you today, a rare find that like two years ago I had one of these. Uh, same about a mile, same equipment, or a little different, but let me go through it. I do have an equipment list that if you contact me direct, I'll shoot you this and you'll have all the equipment. But let's go take a peek inside. Very unique, this is a uh, 2017 Road Trek CS Camper Special XL model. So it's the extended model. A little bit more room in the back, which we're going to go through. Um, got to make sure the battery disconnect is operational. This has got under air uh, option. It's got a drop down cabinet, and I think by pushing this button here, So, a real nice feature of this, it's a storage cabinet that can't be seen from the outside or on the inside. So you can put stuff in here and get it out of sight, out of mind. Very nice feature. Uh, it's got outlets, uh, speakers here in the back. It's got the upgraded air conditioning, which uh, we, we talked about. It's under the unit. There's no roof air conditioner up on, up on top. Um, plenty of vents in, inside and up top. Uh, you have a, tween, uh, a twin or a queen size bed here in the back. Um, cubby holes on both sides and cup holders on both sides. Uh, flat screen TV that does swing around in the aisle. I'll show you what that is. It just swings around like this. That way you can turn the chair around and view from the front and leave your bed made up if you want. It's got an Aldi heating system which runs off diesel which is located right over here on this bulkhead wall. Your control panels right there. Uh, does have counter extensions here on this side as well as a fold up over there gives a little extra workstations uh, for somebody back here in the back wanting to do some additional work. DVD player entertainment center here here in the back you've got a control for automotive speakers or surround sound speakers by just clicking that switch very easy to operate. Closet right here you got two table legs coat extender to get all your hangers out to be able to select which ones you want. Storage cabinets, you got a hanger right here, you can take these shelves out and give yourself more hanging space. Induction cooking, InstaHot, and over here on the control panels, this is to turn your InstaHot on for a time period so it automatically turns itself off so you just don't leave it running. Uh, solar panel, is right here. That's the controller. Um, big inverter in here. Insta hot. It is taken up with a little bit of plumbing, but there's still a lot of room. Got your remotes. This is your fantastic fan control, so you can just take this remote in the back and be able to turn it on, off, vary the speeds, etc. Induction cooking is nice. You need to have a metal pan, magnetic pan to make this work. Uh, but it, it's in almost instant on and instant off. It's a very nice feature. Nice big drawer space. And I would be at miss if I didn't remove the safety lock and pop open the bathroom. And so you got your shower head up here, places to put your soaps. Um, this is a little secure place to put things you don't want to get wet. And then it's, you got your heater air coming in through this vent. Uh, when these doors are functional, you put the hook right in here so the doors end up being like this. So you have nice elbow room, nicer elbow room. It's all a compromise. Real small unit, good mileage, easy man maneuverability. <laughs> um, 
convection microwave. Got the inverter going, so all the power's in the unit. Little storage up on top. And the refrigerator, Norcold. Compressor style refrigerator. Lots of room. Now I'll point out in the when we go in the back, I got a bed kit for this. So this seats three people up front. These will turn into a third bed. And there's seat belts in the back, of course, so you can haul up six, seven people on this bad boy. This is your in-floor heat right here. Runs off your Aldi system. Got your electrical step that goes in and out automatically. Uh, power awning comes out a few inches or up to eight feet. It does have brackets on the side. If you want to anchor the legs down, yes, you do want to anchor your legs down. Uh, go take a chance unless you're there so you can retract it if the wind comes up. Back, backup camera again is right up here. It's got a Continental spare tire kit. Normally, uh, it's put down underneath. I noticed that was a special option on the list. And here is your headboard that you can swap out for a golf club carrier. It's got spot for four bags. Uh, this is kind of a, another little storage area back in here with all your seat belts. Uh, the unit just came in and hasn't even been fully checked in uh, or went to uh, detail. Uh, trailer hitch, 5,000 pounds tow rating. Outdoor shower. Normally you'd see the the tire right down here and they got extra AGM batteries down below which is listed on the option sheet. And 110 hook up here. <clears throat> Macerator system. Black gray tank, little push knob if your macerator gets plugged, that'll help free it up. And remember, down the toilet, number one, number two, nothing else. That way you won't plug anything up or damn it. So the water hook's right here. And again, no propane on board. It's all electric. It's got an underhood generator. Your diesel fill is behind door number one, is door number two. So here's your diesel fill. That way somebody can't come in and put stuff down or try to take your fuel out. I know you've got a lot of questions on a 2017 Roadtrek CX XL four-wheel drive under 8,000 miles. Uh, 7,804 to be exact. I'm the van guy. Call me direct with any questions. My cell number is 541 554 9581. I appreciate your time and I look forward to talking to you. Have a good day.